Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing the straight lines and this is your lecture number 8. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 7 before watching this part 8. In this lecture, we will uh, discuss about the different form of the straight line and how you can reduce one of the straight line in form of another. So, let us start uh, today lecture. A reduction of the general equation of general equation of a straight line equation of a straight line a straight line the general equation of a straight line we you know the general equation of a straight line the general equation of a straight line equation of a straight line is a straight line is ax plus by plus c is equal to j right where a b c are coefficients where a b c are coefficients constants right now a b c are constants right constants and x and y are variable so if you want to reduce it this in slope intercept form slope intercept form then how to deal with and we know the slope intercept form slope intercept form intercept form of equation form of equation is y is equal to mx plus c so how to reduce general equation in slope intercept form so how to reduce the thing is how to reduce how to reduce general equation general equation in slope intercept form in slope intercept form intercept form right okay so here the general equation is given as ax plus by plus c since general equation is given as ax plus by plus c ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. This employee by can be written as minus ax minus c and therefore y can be written as minus a by b into x minus c by b and this is in form of y is equal to mx plus c since this is in form of in form of form of y is equal to mx plus c where m is where m is what minus a by b that is slope is that is slope is minus a by b slope is minus a by b that is what coefficient of minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of coefficient of y coefficient of y so wherever you need to find slope in general equation you will do that slope is nothing else but minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of y right coefficient of y so minus a by b that is coefficient minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y this is slope intercept form and y intercept is and y intercept intercept is obtained as what that is minus c by b what is that constant term right now divided by coefficient of y right now minus constant term constant term upon coefficient of coefficient of y i hope you got it so let us uh, do one example. I am giving one example where you can deal with this. Say 3x minus y, 3x minus y is equal to 4. This is a general equation in form. So we can write it y is equal to 3x plus 4. And therefore, this is a slope intercept form. Slope intercept form. Intercept form. Right now, slope intercept form of the line. And what is that? This is a general equation of line. So we can write it 3x minus y 
minus 4 even is equal to 0, we can write. So this is a general form, general form, general form of line and slope intercept form of line. Now intercept form, so the next thing is intercept form, intercept form of equation of line is equation of line is line is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 right now where a and b are where a and b are intercepts on x is h on x is h that is a is x intercept and b is y intercept so how to reduce general equation intercept form how to reduce now question is how to reduce how to reduce general equation general equation in intercept form in intercept form intercept form so we can write general equation like ax plus by ax plus by is equal to minus c and therefore x upon ax upon minus c plus by upon minus c is equal to 1 this employee x upon minus c by a and y upon minus c by b is equal to 1 this is what x comparing with the slope intercept form here comparing with comparing with intercept form intercept form of x by a y plus y by b is equal to 1 plus y by b is equal to 1 we have x intercept x intercept is except a is nothing else but minus c by a and y intercept b is y intercept b is minus c by b. So you can calculate like this. Now how to reduce general equation in form of normal form. So the general equation can be reduced in normal form. How to reduce equation in normal form is equation in normal form normal form or perpendicular form perpendicular form is what x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p so how to reduce in this form right how to reduce ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, isn't it, ax plus b plus c is equal to 0. So keeping c as positive because this is the length of perpendicular and length cannot be negative. So keeping this positive and we can write here this employee c is positive minus ax minus by is equal to c divide by under root a square plus b square both the sides both the sides sides we have minus a upon under root a square plus b square and that is equal to minus b upon under root a square plus b square and here x and there is y is equal to c upon under root a square plus b square right comparing this with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p comparing with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p we have cos alpha is equal to minus a upon under root a square plus b square and sin alpha is equal to minus b upon 
sin alpha is minus b upon under root a square plus b square and length of perpendicular from origin to the line p is equal to and b that is, is equal to c upon under root a square plus b square that is length of perpendicular from origin to the line length of perpendicular from origin to the line from origin to the line which line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 so this is the length of perpendicular from origin to the line you can memorize it although this will be discussed later on also so this is important one right now this one is important one you can remember this right now this will be the important one so p is equal to c upon under root a square plus b square how to deal with this let me explain this possibility how is that if there is a line say this is a line right and uh, this is x axis this is y axis and uh, this one is a line line is like this line is like this say this is a line length of perpendicular from origin to the line is like this length of perpendicular from origin to the line is this <coughs> okay so this is p and this is length of perpendicular since equation is ax plus by is equal plus c is equal to 0 so the it can be written as x upon minus c by a plus y upon minus c by b is equal to 1 so this point is x intercept that is minus c by a comma 0 this point is minus c comma b 0 comma this isn't it and uh, this is a length of perpendicular that is alpha so using this this length is minus c by a hypotenuse and this is p so sine alpha what will be that cos alpha in this one cos alpha is nothing else this is a square plus b square under root a square plus b square how is that so here cos alpha for this angle cos alpha is you know already we have discussed this cos alpha is equal to here cos alpha is um, perpendicular upon base upon hypotenuse so base is p and hypotenuse is this is the opposite to the right angle so it must be hypotenuse that is minus c by a so a will come in numerator right this is one similarly sine alpha can be obtained because this is alpha so that will be 90 minus alpha and this will be alpha for this angle this will be perpendicular and this will be hypotenuse hypotenuse length is c by b so here uh, the sine alpha can be written as perpendicular p upon minus c by b so b will come here now squaring and adding then cos square alpha plus sine square alpha is equal to 1 it means p square by a square upon c square plus p square b square upon c square is equal to 1 and therefore p square a square plus b square lcm is c square now that is c square and c square will come this side so therefore p is equal to c square upon a square plus b square that is p square and hence p can be written as what will be that therefore p can be written as p is length of perpendicular so it will be always positive c upon under root a square plus b square i hope you got it now since cos alpha is p a upon minus c and therefore if you put the value of p here then what will happen this is a p a then c a upon under root a square plus b square into minus c so this c and c cancel and what will happen so cos alpha is equal to minus a this negative sign will come numerator upon a square plus b square isn't it and sin alpha also 
साइन अल्फा एज साइन अल्फा एज पी बी अपॉन माइनस पी बी अपॉन सी सी कैन बी रिटर्न एज निगेटिव निगेटिव साइन कैन बी टेकन अपवर्ड एंड देयर फॉर पी बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी पी वैल्यू ऑफ पी एज व्हाट सी अपॉन सो सी अपॉन P is nothing else but C upon under root a square plus b square, isn't it? And this is b by c is there, so c c cancel. What is that? Minus b upon under root a square plus b square. So wherever uh, it is given, then to reduce sine alpha is this, cos alpha is this, and this is what we have calculated. We have written, but I have proved here that how this will come. There is a uh, no use of proving this but even then since uh, cos alpha is this sin alpha is this so you can write this and uh, hopefully you will remember this also right now keep this in memory how this will come that has been discussed here right now so now let us uh, reduce some of the examples uh, on the basis of this we can do that so starting some solving some question from the given exercise and here is an exercise 10.3 exercise 10.3 i am solving some questions the very first question is given here reduce the following equation into slope intercept form find their slope and y intercept reduce the following the following equation Following equations in slope intercept form. In slope intercept form, find their slope and y intercept. Find their slope and y intercept. Y intercept. Right now, so slope and y intercept. That you need to calculate in these questions. And the questions are here. The very first question is given that x plus seven y is equal to zero. X plus seven y is equal to zero. So this can be written as seven y is equal to minus x and y is equal to minus one by seven into x plus zero. So comparing with, if you compare this, comparing with. Comparing with y is equal to m x plus c, we get slope is slope is minus one by seven, and y intercept y intercept that is c is zero, right? Now the second question is there, and the second question is here. It is written that six x plus three y. Plus three y minus five is equal to zero. So we can again write this. Three <coughs> y is equal to minus six x plus five, and therefore y is equal to minus six by three x plus five by three. That is y is equal to what will come minus two x plus five by three. If we compare this, comparing with, comparing with. Y is equal to m x plus c. We have we have slope is minus two, slope of line is minus two, and y intercept is intercept is i by three. Now the third equation uh, is given here. This is third equation also. It is given that y is equal to zero. So comparing with comparing with y is equal to m x plus c here m is zero slope m is zero and y intercept is also zero so slope is zero and y intercept is zero I hope you got it now the next question that is given question number two. Reduce the following equation. Reduce the following equations. Reduce the following equations into intercept form. Intercept form. 
and find their intercept on axis H. Find the intercepts intercepts on axis H on axis H, right? So here the first part of the question is given like t x plus 2 y minus 12 is equal to 0. This can be written as 3 x plus 2 y is equal to 12 and further it can be written as 3 x by 12 plus 2 y by 12 is equal to 1 divide by 12 both the sides and that will be x by 4 by plus y by 6 is equal to 1. Now we can write here comparing with comparing with x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 we have x intercept age x intercept a age what 4 and y intercept b y intercept b is equal to 6 that will be the answer now we have the second part of the question let us deal with second part right and the second part of the question is 4x minus 3y is equal to 6 so again we can do the same thing you can reduce them 4x by 6 minus 3y by 6 is equal to 1 and that therefore x is upon 3 by 2 minus y upon 2 is equal to 1. Comparing with comparing with whom x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. We have x intercept x intercept a is 3 by 2 and y intercept intercept of b is minus 2 here it is minus 2 that can be written as minus 2 so y intercept that is negative side of y axis so we can do like this now the third equation third question third part of this is given here that third part is given that 3y plus 0 this can be also written as 3y 0 into x plus 3y or even you can write here that can be written as uh, minus 3y is equal to 2, 2 is always positive divide by 2 and that can be written as 0 into x so this will be can be written as x upon 2 0 into x upon 2 minus 3 by 2 y upon 2 by 3 y upon 2 by 3 y upon plus y upon 2 minus 2 by 3 is equal to 1 and therefore x intercept is 0 here x intercept is what 2 divided by 0 that is 0 and y intercept is only and what is y intercept here y intercept is only y intercept is what minus 2 by 3 y intercept is minus 2 by 3 x intercept is not defined where x intercept intercept is not defined is not defined that is infinity you can say 2 divided by 0 it will be infinity so you can write it like this also x 0 into x and this divided by 0 so 2 divided by 0 is infinity so not different so x intercept is not different because it will not y is equal to something constant is a parallel to x axis so it will never intersect x axis got it now it will never intersect x axis now uh, some more questions i would like to discuss now there is a question that is question number third find the following equation reduce the following equation in normal form question is like that reduce the following equations in normal form 
find the length of perpendicular length of perpendicular from origin to the line from origin to the line and an angle made by perpendicular made by perpendicular with x axis with x axis that means you have to find value of p and alpha the very first question that is given to so the first question is x minus root 3y plus 8 is equal to 0 and as we had discussed that this to be taken as positive so we can write it 8 is equal to minus x plus root 3y is equal to 8 divide both the sides now divide both the sides both the sides by under root a square plus b square what we have learned that is coefficient of minus x whole square and root 3 whole square that is 2 3 plus 1 4 so divide both the sides by 2 where equation is if equation is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 then you have to divide by under root a square plus b square so here if i divide by 2 both the sides this will be root 3 by 2 y is equal to 8 by 2 so that will be this employee minus 1 by 2 x plus root 3 by 2 y is equal to 4 now comparing with comparing with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p here length of perpendicular from p is the length of perpendicular p is length of p is 4 that is length of perpendicular from origin to the line is p and p is 4 length of perpendicular perpendicular from origin to the line the line is p and that is what is p p is 4 and cos alpha and sin alpha is given here cos alpha is minus 1 by 2 and sin alpha is 1 by 2 cos is negative and sin is positive so therefore alpha must lie in which quadrant sin is root 3 by 2 so they must lie in second quadrant and therefore alpha is lies in second quadrant and second quadrant 1 by 2 is value is 2 pi by 3 that is 120 degree so 120 degree that sin alpha will be positive and cos alpha will be negative so this is the first one now similarly second part of the question can be dealt with second part is y minus 2 is equal to 0 so again you have to divide by coefficient of x square by y square divide by coefficient of a square plus b square that is what 0 square plus 1 square so that is 1 so no need to divide it because dividing by 1 is the wasting of time so here y is equal to 2 so length of perpendicular from origin to the line can be written as 0 into x plus y right now this is what so 0 divided by if you compare with x cos alpha and y sin alpha is equal to p divide by so length of perpendicular from origin to the line here comparing with comparing with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p length of perpendicular from origin to the line length of perpendicular length of perpendicular let me write proper word perpendicular from origin to the line origin from origin to the line origin to the line 
is 2 cos alpha is equal to 0 and sin alpha is equal to 1 and therefore alpha must be equal to 90 degree or pi by 2. I hope you got it. Now the third part of this is third part is here and this third part is given that x minus y is equal to 4. So in that case we can say comparing with directly because there is nothing to do with and divide by under root divide by divide by under root 1 square plus minus 1 square that is under root 2 both the sides so what will happen if you divide this it will be like 1 by root 2 x minus 1 by root 2 y is equal to 4 upon root 2 that is this employee minus 1 this employee 1 by root 2 into x plus minus 1 by root 2 into y is equal to 2 root 2 comparing with now comparing with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to t here length cos alpha is length of perpendicular length of perpendicular from origin to line origin to line is p that is 2 root 2 and cos alpha is what cos alpha is 1 by root 2 and sin alpha is minus 1 by root 2 so sin alpha is negative and cos alpha is positive that is alpha lies in fourth quadrant and therefore alpha must be equal to what is that fourth quadrant that is minus 45 that is 315 degree either you write minus 45 degree or minus pi by 4 or you can say in anti-clockwise direction that will be or in clockwise direction 315 degree like that that's it so this is all about uh, this reduction and how to reduce one form into another form that has been discussed in this uh, lecture and you can reduce further if any kind of equation is given you know how to deal with the uh, lines and uh, one form can be changed into another form so thank you very much god bless keep watching we will see you in the next class till then bye bye